What's a high value man? Guy who goes to a gym five days a week and like make 100k per year. I mean, I'm a high value man myself. Why do you think that nowadays more and more men are starting to develop a hatred towards women? I'm gonna say Andrew Tate. Expectations are so high. I'm like my 20s is expected to have a Lamborghini yours driving around downtown and all you have to bring is your hair and spit. Cam Cook. Man can only cheat if he loves someone else. I'm gonna let you know that I perceive myself as high value from the jump. Don't expect me to chase you and beg you and get on my knees, bro. I'm not submissive. I'm dominant. In the past couple of years, we've seen the rise of male fears trying to teach men how to improve themselves, appeal to women, and become what they call high value men. They advise them to swallow the red pill and open their eyes to the truth about women. But is this movement really helping men? Women always cheat on good men. As a man, you must attract, not chase. You're fat, underemployed, and unambitious. Anytime a woman is the focal of a man's life, it's a problem. And the only way a man can give a woman the best life is when she's not the focus. Or is it cultivating something far darker? All those girls that I've desired so much, I hate all of you. I can't wait to give you exactly what you deserve. I have a boyfriend because I couldn't put up with women anymore. I couldn't put up with being cheated on by women and being lied to and betrayed. Any yeah. man who's honest and like sees things clearly, you become a red pill misogynist piece of shit. I, I get it. I hate women too, bro. That's what we're trying to figure out today. What's your definition of a high value man? A girl looks at a bank account, right? The guy who works doesn't talk to a bitch. He needs to know his boundaries. Big money doesn't go texting bitch multiple times. Very composed. Who can? Can't get a lot of women who like chooses who to get. Someone who's just working, who's just making something happen every day. You're working out every day. You're in great shape. You're making money. I mean, I'm a high value man myself. I DJ for a living. I travel the world. My homies, days in, days out, bang hookers and blow. From that perspective, you can pretty much summarize what makes a man valuable to three things. Having a lot of money, being in great physical shape, and getting a lot of girls. Sounds great, but what I'm wondering is whether the answer would be the same if you asked the other side. What would you say makes a man valuable? Just having like the same values as I do, family oriented, respectful, loyal. Hey, sense of morality. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you wear or what car you drive or where you live. It has to be good looking and has to have goals. So what if he's broke, that's fine? That's fine. If he's hardworking, he knows what he wants in life, that's important. Being able to like provide. So like money wise? Not necessarily money wise, but like, I feel like, you know. You gotta be able to sustain your family. Basically. That's what I'm saying. So so even though financial stability is with no doubt a factor, it's pretty clear that from the female side of things, it really comes down to your core values, who you are or aspire to be as a person, and how you treat people around you. Because of this misunderstanding, it probably comes with no surprise that over the past couple of years, men and women have been more divided than ever before. We need to kill all men. Do you think men are important? Like, for what? <laughs> they're whores and they're gold diggers and they don't care about you. I don't like the way you told all these ladies to shut the f*** up. It's your head. This is what men's rights look like. This is what men's rights look like. But how do these differences when it comes to defining what makes a man valuable lead to one of the loneliest generation of men we've ever seen? Why do you think more and more men in their 20s have such a hard time finding relationships nowadays? Do they have a hard time? That's my question. I think the stat is 60% of men in their 20s are single and sexless compared to only 30% of women. I have a theory. You're all addicted to porn. Porn addiction does lead to men not being able to be hard and it's a growing concern, I would say, in all of America. I would also say a misunderstanding of how women work. A lot of people assume that girls want something serious, but they probably want to f just as much as the next man. Oh, you think women want to play around? Women are the players. Nine out of ten times, bro, she cheated on you. They value money and nothing else. I think the issue is that girls still believe in like old fashioned like romance yes, and yes, love. Yes. Our guys are just like, I want to f that bitch. It's so sexual from guys. So that's why girls are like turning away all these men. This may be a little bit of a generalization, but nowadays I think men are also the princesses in a relationship. There's a lot of things that make not even just men, women wander and setting unrealistic standards for relationships. TikTok, Instagram, models, influencers. Pull up the phone though. Don't just hate on men because not all of them are horrible. Some of the women play a part in it. And that's true. Not all men swallow the red pill and have this biased perception of things, blaming everything on women. The high value men nowadays, people think it's about income. It's more about what you set your own standards to. You don't just say I'm high value and expect your spouse to 
track on or follow you because that's not how it's supposed to be especially in this day and era i feel like everything should be precipitated differently and everyone should be on equal levels but despite all that you can't overlook the fact that in this generation there is a clear gap between what women find valuable and what men themselves think adds to their overall value creating some sort of resentment on their side and sure enough while exploring this topic i witnessed it firsthand so all right take women's advice on dating yeah. are you single Yes. So why should yeah. we take advice from you? Well, because I'm actually the one who has to go and do everything involved in the whole process. You just stand there. Who says that? You just stand there. Stand there and do what? Look good. It's clear that disagreements between men and women contribute to the rise in loneliness we're seeing in young men. But there are also other things to take into account. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. More than 3 billion people in almost 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. We're asking everyone to work at home if possible, postpone unnecessary travel. Many, young and old, 2020 will be the toughest year of our lives. We can't overlook the fact that for nearly three years, the world literally stopped, creating what I'd like to believe was an isolation crisis. With less interactions and no social life, a lot of men turned to the virtual world as a solution to their lack of connection, heavily investing your time watching explicit content online or on all events. Then with fatherlessness being one of the most significant social problems in North America, young men are growing up with no role models to show them what it truly means to be a man. And a lot of people have seen this as an opportunity to take that spot and monetize men's loneliness. Would you like to know the secret to successfully managing the rotation of two, three, four, even five chicks? I will show you how. That's what leads to people like Andrew Tate, Fresh and Fit, Rollo Tomasi, and hundreds of others becoming role models that young men look up to. Sometimes at their own expense. The quickest path to becoming a high value man, number one, don't get married, avoid family creation, vasectomy in your 20s. Maybe you should not focus on family. Maybe you should not get married. If you were to actually follow this list right here, that is the fastest way for you to get to a point where you are more high value. Not gonna lie, if I gotta get a vasectomy and never build a family to become a high value man, I think I'm gonna pass. In most cases, these alpha males, high value men, or whatever you want to call them, because there is literally a new term every single week. Can't keep up with all that, bro. They promise their audience that all they gotta do is buy their online course or read their book to solve all their problems and start getting a bunch of girls that are interested in it. Yo, awesome. everyone that took action on our course, I guarantee it's gonna change your whole life. Yeah, I guarantee you. Yes. Yeah. Spoiler alert, it ain't gonna be that easy, brother. And this is where everything goes downhill. They usually teach young men the wrong things. Lessons that make them less appealing to young women. Just like the video. All right, let's do this. Stop. You're all right. You're like a six. Hot girl, but annoying on a date. Recreation is only. Teaching young men that women are nothing else than disposable sex objects. But even worse than that, they created this cult of young men that started to deeply and wholeheartedly hate women. You don't sit there and negotiate with your girl because that implies that you guys are equal. A woman needs to be an object of beauty, you f***ing idiot. Society's not gonna change. This is evolution. Women are evil, women are cruel, women are mean. Because every woman I know has experienced some form of sexual harassment, abuse, or assault. Tomorrow is the day of retribution. With the whole incel shit, like men just like blame the world rather than, oh, maybe it's a me problem. Maybe not all girls are against me. 22 year old Elliot Roger, the son of Hollywood privilege, but sexually frustrated. He posted a 141 page manifesto mostly blaming women for not having sex with him. Men maybe just hate women because they feel that they're not getting what they need out of their actions, but that's not to blame them or the women. It's just what's expected of men. That's called hegemonic masculinity. For that matter, I think that's what it is. You give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay. It's necessary. What the hell are we going to do without men? You look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up. These men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets. They work themselves to death and often literally and the gratitude for that is sorely lacking. Men are struggling mm -hmm. and nobody cares. People just fundamentally don't have that much sympathy 
for men. Despite the fact that there is a lot of bad that came out of all this high value men stuff, I want to give a voice to all sides of the story on this channel because there is also some good that came out of it. So you're not going to find something more valuable in your life than a committed relationship with someone that you love that sustains itself across time. Clean up your room. That's a good start. Organize your local landscape. Schedule your time. Start taking control of yourself. You should get off your phone. You should try to be healthy and aim to be the best version of yourself. At the end of the day, the problem is still the same. The wrong role models are the loudest. And a lot of men can see it. I gotta be honest, I fell for it too. The men who are out here only trying to have sex with women and have no emotional connection, they're weirdos. A lot of this red pill, how to get girls stuff, a lot of them are like that as well. They're like the, the peak masculine uh, uh, life is just to have a bunch of women that you barely know. And that, yeah. that's stupid. That's fucking ridiculous. I believed in all of that red pill stuff at one point. And maybe the solution to all this is simply to take things with a grain of salt. Try to navigate life on your own. Make some mistakes, socialize with people and learn from your experiences because not everything is black and white. That's why we explored a gray area on this channel. If that's something that resonates with you, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. If you enjoy this video, not gonna lie, this one is probably for you too. And as I always say, remember to live. So do y'all think you're a high-value man then, based on your definition? I don't think so, bro. I smoke a lot. So if you're a high-value man, you can't smoke? I'm a high-value man, you know what I mean? 